Good morning, everybody in YouTube land. This is C. Fernal. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm just showing you some subscriber videos. I'm taking you out to some filtering videos. And I'm going to show you some stuff. Um, it's not about how many planets you see. It's not about the quality of the film. It's not even about how many people are watching or how many people are chatting. I got to say one thing. And I'll make this declaration clear. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Got Jesus this morning? Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Only God knows. So welcome, welcome. Get ready. I'll show you a bunch of stuff. Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico, and sent to Wright Field, Ohio, for further inspection. This afternoon, a bulletin from New Mexico suggested that the widely publicized mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. Army Air Force officers reported that one of the strange discs had been found and inspected sometime last week. Our correspondents in Los Angeles and Chicago have been in contact with Army officials endeavoring to obtain all possible late information. Joe Wilson reports to us now from Chicago. The Army may be getting to the bottom of all this talk about the so-called flying saucers. As a matter of fact, the 509th Atomic Bomb Group headquarters at Rockwell, New Mexico, reports that it has received one of the discs that landed on a ranch outside Roswell. The disc landed at a ranch at Corona, New Mexico, and the rancher turned it over to the Air Force. Rancher W.W. Brizel was the man who discovered the saucer. Colonel William Blanchard of the Roswell Air Base refuses to give details of what the flying disc looked like. In Fort Worth, Texas, where the object was first sent, Brigadier General Roger Ramey says that it is being shipped by air to the AAF Research Center at Wright Field, Ohio. A few moments ago, I talked to officials at Wright Field, and they declared that they expect the so-called flying saucer to be delivered there, but that it hasn't arrived as yet. In the meantime, General Ramey describes the object as being of flimsy construction, almost like a box type. He says that it was so battered that he was unable to determine whether it had a disc form, and he does not indicate its size. Ramey says that so far as can be determined, no one saw the object in the air, and he describes it as being made of some sort of tinfoil. Other Army officials say that further information indicates that the object had a diameter of about 20 to 25 feet, and that nothing in the apparent construction indicated any capacity for speed, and that there was no evidence of a power plant. The disc also appeared too flimsy to carry a man. Now, back to Taylor Grant in New York. There was important activity within the UN Security Council today.
what I'm doing here, folks, is I'm taking this uh, radius filter and I'm just dehazing the clouds and the chemtrails and the chemicals in the sky and showing you what is beside our sun. I ain't making nothing up. I'm just clearing up the clouds, you see? Instead of doing the whole picture, I'm just doing each one of those planets. And that's amazing footage right there. Great capture. It's a clear indication of our national decline. Hey, hey, I gotta say, we got our hills where the sun don't shine. Well, we voted in president like a national city. Show how much we're out of touch. We voted a man again. All that destruction and the flame has never healed. It's just like old Billy Clinton who couldn't tell you what he is really. They give a whole new meaning to lead him from behind. Hey, hey, I gotta say, we gotta hear where the sun. one coming on the white horse. I am the soon rending of the heavens. I am the precision of my scripture. I am waiting for you.